roll over. Let's see. Hi. Oh, Miss Nervous Nelly. I don't think you know it. You know down. You know down very nicely. Thank you. That's really good. So when you're working on rollover, oh, good job. The first thing you're trying to do is get down. Um, and if you can just reward it instead of verbal cueing it, that might be better. Because to be honest, you want the rollover to come from a stand position. So a lot of times what I like to do is I like to, hi, come on. Yeah, hi, come here. Yes. Uh, and um, right here is moving really quickly into, um, she's settling on her hip instead of staying in sphinx square on her hips, which is nice. If I hadn't gotten that right away, I would have started taking a treat in front of the nose and just very quickly yes, started rolling her head over to this side so that she would have gotten out of the sphinx position and rolled onto a hip, but I don't have to worry about that, so I'm gonna run with that. You wanna turn the head in towards the side that has rolled. So wherever the feet are now, not the hips, if this is the hip over here, I'm not gonna roll her this direction. I wanna roll her into where her feet have ended up. There's a couple things that you can do using lure reward to make rollover come a lot faster, but I will tell you that generally speaking, the order in which I'm going to be looking for things is I got her out of sphinx on, into a down, out of sphinx onto the hip, and then the next thing is I'm starting to take this hip in towards her spine. This front foot's going to come up, and then this back foot's going to come up, and then she's going to roll herself over. If you haven't noticed, though, I'm doing really quick succession of, yes, there's that front foot up, her going a little bit farther. I've probably taken 20 treats here so far to get her going. Yes, good girl! Both feet came up this time. She's probably already had about 25 treats to get to both feet coming up, and she's not rolling over. That's okay because what I have is, yes, a lot of success, yes, in her not being worried about, yes, why are you leaning over me, what's going on, yes, what is this that we're doing, and you're kind of off in an odd angle so it makes it a little bit trickier, but a high rate of reinforcement really helps when you're starting off to teach things, yes, so if it takes you, yes. 23 treats in today's training session is just you getting them comfortable going this direction and their body's kind of loose and you can see she's kind of springing around and she's not collapsing flat. This is how we start the rollover. Oof, 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 took her a little too far. She came back that way without getting the treat. Yes, good girl! Very nice! There wasn't any pushing involved because everything I'm trying to do is teach her how to do it by herself because I don't want to have to move you and manipulate you because that's one more thing then that I have to get rid of down the road. That was very nice. When it can take you one treat and she can go all the way over, that's when I'm adding the verbal cue. And then if that's going really well four or five times, then I'm going to do the verbal cue roll over and with the hand signal, but I'm going to start getting the treat out of the hand. And then I'm going to start trying to go for rollover without the hand signal and then even try and roll over from like a standing up position. Pretty much any behavior you work on, there's a very specific sequence that you can put together. You just kind of have to stop and look at it. If I'm looking at a whole big behavior, where do I start? This is where I start. Fantastic. Let's go this way one more time. Let's see if we can do a faster one. Um, two other things to kind of pay attention to when you're working on the rollover is try to keep this treat level with the ground as you're going in towards the hip, into right towards her tummy, her heels can tuck right into her tummy, but we're actually kind of continuing and going back towards the spine. So this front foot keeps coming up successfully, and Ginger's, Ginger is a little worried about me leaning over her, so that's some of the reason you see the pop back up, that's okay, and that's why I'm like, I'll let you resituate. Come back to your space. Huh, you're a sensitive girl. And I stuck treats in your hair. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, so close, so close. Good girl. Some dogs also have a preference to left or right hand side. So you just kind of want to play around. Um, one of the things that I really like that she's doing is she stayed totally engaged. She is not getting up and walking away. She's not frustrated. It's really easy for me to keep going and kind of build in the right direction. She switched tips. Fantastic. I'm going to see if she would rather roll over going this direction. <gasps> Whoa! Yay! Look at that. I'm trying not to push 
two 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 kind of stalled out. What? Dad? Yay! So, high rate of reinforcement, help them be successful, break the whole rollover down, all over picture down into multiple little pieces. And um, don't add the verbal cue until you're successful. All right, good girl. Pay attention to if your dog would prefer to go left or right. Two other things you might want to think about. Sometimes a harness might prevent them from comfortably rolling over. And having some nice padding on the ground and not having your rollover on the pavement probably also helps a whole lot. Good girl. Okay, okay.